Okay, good evening to everybody. Uh, I am Annalisa Dominoni and uh, Professor Benedetto Quacquaro. And uh, we teach uh, at the design school at the Politecnico of Milan. And um, in this case, uh, we will present uh, our habitat concept in lunar uh, lava tubes. But uh, before, uh, uh, because you are I guess all uh, engineering students, we try to explain uh, shortly um, which are uh, our topics. Uh, we um, created and uh, led this year, uh, the second semester will be the fourth edition of a space uh, course, space design course, is a master level program inside uh, the uh, Integrated Product System um, Design School. And uh, this uh, course is supported uh, by the European Space Agency and uh, is the unique uh, and first course supported by ESA. And um, the aim of this course uh, is to uh, create uh, new professional figures uh, uh, able both uh, to connect uh, technology and uh, beauty, able to speak uh, different languages, uh, crossing uh, research, uh, know-how, imagine new scenario, and uh, that could be inspired by space. Um, you know that uh, space inspires people in different ways, and uh, we believe that space has a strong influence on how people behave and perform uh, overall on design, fashion, art, music, cinema. Um, you can see Andy Warhol, inspired by uh, the first uh, man on the moon. Uh, Zanuso is a great uh, designer. Um, Italian designer that uh, get inspiration by space. Uh, if you look at the moon, uh, <coughs> you can uh, imagine this uh, shape, uh, this light, uh, uh, and uh, uh, other uh, some environments inspired by uh, 60s space age. Uh, this is a, another very famous project, Eclissi by Magistretti. Uh, this is a picture taken by an astronaut from board the ISS. It's a water bubble. And uh, this is a bubble chair, uh, always by 60s. You have other examples uh, regarding the uh, Space Odyssey 2001. And uh, if you look at the first print on the moon, um, you can see immediately that uh, Monbud, that uh, is Italian uh, design company, take inspiration by, by uh, this uh, incredible event. You <laughs> yes, <laughs> what I want to say is that uh, we show you a lot of imaging from 60 and 17, the, which, is, which are the uh, years of the major growing of design, Italian design, and uh, it matches with the space race. Uh, the Man of the Moon in 1969, so the 70s, the, the, the late 60s and the, the 70s were deeply imprinted. The society was really impressed by the space. The space had mean uh, uh, optimism, it, it means uh, going to unknown land, and now uh, are in, in a quite similar age because uh, something has changed. In the 60s, there were two players uh, USA and Russia, uh, big companies, national companies, the race. Now uh, we are in the market and economy, uh, and so worldwide. There is a lot of uh, uh, private companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, Amazon, uh, plus obviously the national agency that uh, look at the, the space, but maybe uh, outer space from moon to Mars. So uh, the technology change has impressed the real life of our daily life. Uh, 
furniture, dressing, uh, and uh, communication. Uh, and we think that now we are in, in quite similar, uh, quite similar. This is a 60 uh, fashion uh, image, <coughs> and this is uh, 80. 80, uh, and uh, the inspiration, uh, of course, are the solar panels. And, uh, and this is now. This is this a is Chanel. Now Chanel in Paris. It's the past year uh, fashion show and. and uh, what design can do for space? Uh, we used to increase the comfort and the well-being and the efficiency while living and working in space for astronauts. And uh, with uh, our discipline, we explore astronauts' behaviors and needs, finding innovative solutions in order to make easier human performances in uh, reduced gravity. That means uh, on ISS, uh, or uh, thinking about uh, the new gateway, or lunar bases, uh, or uh, for Mars uh, in the near future. Uh, you can see Samantha Cristoforetti. Um, this is uh, a very important, uh, all uh, the items uh, related to the preparation, the consumption, the uh, conservation of the food in microgravity because uh, uh, all uh, uh, parameters change completely. And uh, uh, it will change also the actor of the space uh, um, work because uh, uh, since now uh, the, the astronauts are really uh, very trained, skilled people. Mostly of them are military, military that, so they have a very, very uh, strong training. Uh, so they are totally s sufficient for anything. But uh, uh, you surely have you seen uh, there are programs for sending tourists and common people in the in the space. Uh, so probably. Uh, the tools, the environment, uh, what they, they are surrounded by, it should be more important. Because uh, Samantha was used to, to tell us, I don't need uh, comfort because I'm trained in the military. But probably uh, uh, a rich man that could pay a lot of money to go into space probably should need uh, more than comfort, the usability something very simple to use. So the interface between uh, the man and his environment, the tools that he uses in the space, uh, it will become more important uh, in, in the next future. But of course, if you feel well, you can work better. And so the comfort and the well-being uh, increase a lot of the efficiency and the results of the missions at the end. This is Paolo Nespoli. Imagine a common man stay in, in, the, in such an, an environment. It should become crazy. What a chaotic space uh, is the ISS. It's incredible. Um, as designer, we take in consideration uh, this list of uh, requirements uh, for us uh, uh, are more uh, the most important. The orientation, the effect of microgravity on objects, uh, the changement of the point of view, because you don't have a, a direction. Uh, all the changement related to physical, physiological, and psychological parameters. Uh, you know that in space, uh, um, the neutral body posture is the new posture that uh, the body assumes. And uh, the movement, uh, in general, inside the confinement environments. All is changing because uh, now we are used to take this bottle, put it on the table, it's, it's okay. But in the space it's not so. So this is the flow. And uh, every gesture should be uh, thought before. And it's uh, a hard challenge for a pro project man uh, because uh, you have to foresee every effort. Yeah. We, we don't have uh, uh, zero gravity on the Earth. Oh, or maybe we have, but it's really difficult to, to recreate it. So you have to foresee every, uh, every uh, possible effect of the movement. Paolo Nespoli told us that when he, he came back to the Earth after six months in, in the 
in the ISS, he broke a lot of glasses because it's normally, he, you have the, what we call proprioception. Does it mean that your body automatically, automatically know how many strong you need to get this bottle? Because it's normal. You are trained since you are a baby and you know that you have this is strong to take this bottle. Uh, for six months, he has to retrain his body in, and the strongness to use to, to manage all the tools. And coming on the, on the air, when he is upside and not sinking, he said, oh, and the, and the glasses is broken, too many strong, or, or, or probably uh, it fell down, down on the earth. So this is uh, the part of our works on, on the project. Uh, looking at these aspects and uh, to foresee and to try to uh, act on this uh, behavior. Yeah, as to say, we put the human being at the center and uh, we take care of them and uh, we look at the gesture, at the movement uh, and uh, the relation of the human body with the objects and the operations. So what design can do for space? We can uh, facilitate the use of uh, the objects and the tools, uh, and uh, we can increase uh, the habitability in a stream environment, uh, not only in space, but also, for instance, in a tanter area. Um, we can find new application that uh, we call spinning or spinning or spin if, uh, spin off. Uh, that means uh, uh, take uh, technology uh, from space uh, and find new aspiration, new application on Earth, and vice versa. But not just technology, uh, we look also at behavior and movement that we can translate. And um, with our students, uh, we try to imagine a new scenario and new concepts for new products and services. And we try to um, push uh, students uh, to enhance uh, a great uh, capacity of visioning, because it's very important uh, to create innovation and new products. Yes. Oh. Uh, the ISS is uh, probably uh, one of the most example of uh, uh, how the man could imagine, could grow, and could uh, build extraordinary things. Uh, it's uh, a very, very loud uh, uh, house that uh, fly, fly around, around the earth. It's totally, totally 100% uh, recycling, so they drink the urine. It's, uh, this is really unbelievable. Uh, the space is also the, the place where people get together. Uh, even uh, before 1989, when there was the uh, Cold War, Russia and, and USA will collaborate in the space. Because when you are outside the Earth, uh, you have many problems. Uh, and, and, and so probably you look at the Earth so so small that you, you think to the real constituents. So ISS is really uh, what is important. Uh, we cannot imagine how many uh, common tools uh, that you, we use in our normal life became from the research that is done on the ISS. It is design for us. Uh, we used to say that design is a method of actions. A problem setting methodology, not a problem solving, because uh, we love to say that a designer has to put uh, pr new problems to, to solve. And uh, this is uh, our idea to drive innovation and, of course, consider the uh, needs uh, of the companies uh, to develop uh, business su success. Uh, these are uh, shortly our methodology, user-centered design, user experience design, uh, together with design to recycle, design to cost, and design thinking. We can't speak about that uh, because uh, we don't have time now. 
and uh, we um, created two uh, specific uh, methodologies for uh, space design that uh, we call user gesture design and spacer design. That means crossing earth and space uh, consider that we have the same human being in the two environments. Uh, what is design of usage and gesture? Um, we mean that um, uh, when we design an object, we have to think immediately how the astronauts uh, could use it, in which way, in which kind of environments. And uh, uh, the project uh, is not just an object, uh, but uh, is the um, addition of all the actions uh, that the astronaut uh, will do together with uh, the other uh, astronauts of the crew. So interacting with objects, uh, with the interfaces uh, and uh, tools. These are two books, uh, um, Industrial Design for Space uh, and uh, for designers with their head beyond the clouds, if you want to go in depth into uh, these uh, topics. And uh, we would like just uh, um, to give you uh, a panoramic of our work uh, uh, at the Politecnico that cross uh, different fields, uh, not just uh, product design, but also fashion. We create a, a capsule collection on invitation of the International Space Agency with a catwalk uh, that we organize in London at the Science Museum. Um, we um, led the higher educational course at Poly Design with uh, the European Space Agency called uh, uh, Space Fashion Design. And uh, we have this Master of Science course uh, that uh, we call Space for Inspiration. Uh, and also, we normally made research for companies trying to, uh, as Annalisa told, hybridate, hybridate uh, space technology uh, into daily life. For example, how to uh, use space technology to the fashion and the sports, uh, sportswear, for example. This is, could be an example. So that's part of our uh, research. The, this evening, uh, we would like to explain uh, uh, just uh, the space for inspiration. Um, every, every year, we use to create a patch, like for the space mission. So we ask uh, to our students to design a patch uh, according to the topics uh, of the year. Um, you know that every space mission has its own patch. And uh, there is a great uh, symbolic uh, uh, literature on, on these uh, patches. And we try to do our. And um, our course is uh, at the master level, uh, the first year of master level. And we have a semester. And uh, first time, uh, three years ago, we made, uh, we faced uh, three themes different that was space food in, uh, uh, in, in how, how to use, how to assume, how to uh, manage food uh, in, in zero gravity in the SpaceX. Uh, food and, and the second was, uh, uh, normally uh, what, what it, we try to involve space company that come to our course to interact with our students. The, those are, for example, Agrotech, which is the companies that uh, prepare this, the bonus food for Samantha and for uh, look at for our astronauts. Uh, does it mean, for example, that this is uh, a, a mix of uh, old recipes and uh, new technology to create this kind of food that could uh, last a lot of uh, time and to be assumed in, in um, without the damage to be. Uh, sent to the ISS, uh, and um, uh, they come, we, we have experience and we have some project. The second, uh, the second theme that we used was uh, the EVA suites, that is mean the big uh, suites the astronauts wear when they go outside, in the outer space, outside the ISS. Uh, 
Obviously, we work on a conceptual side of the project, not, not on the final detail, but this, uh, yeah, it, it, it's a really interesting project because uh, this is like a, a strong, a small spaceship that you wear. That is something, it is pressured, and uh, it, we, have, we have a lot of problems about dressing and undressing. And uh, also in this case, we have uh, the chief of uh, his a project pro program from from space from uh, Ivory Street that came to Polytechnico and uh, helped us. Uh, here we have some concept of our. Uh, this is an interpretation uh, that means that you have a small drone that I act like a. Uh, Sheep dog, like, like, like a pet that uh, could, uh, without having the cable, could uh, f uh, find you and g drive you to the spaceship. Uh, obviously, it is uh, managed from uh, inside the, the, the ISS. It could, uh, it could give uh, air and. Um, it and, allows uh, a space uh, catwalk in security. Exactly because they will work outside that is properly. Uh, it, it, it's a very hard environment because they, they pass, uh, you don't know, w there is no atmosphere, so they pass from minus 100 degree to plus 100 degree in uh, just uh, half a minute. When the, uh, the ISS is in the dark side, they, they don't reach the, uh, the sun ray, uh, they have a big uh, jump from, so uh, it's really a hard environment. Uh, this is uh, the concept spin-off. Uh, how could you use the idea that you have seen before uh, in the sea? Having like a tutor that could take you off uh, if you go to in the deep or if you need something, something else. Oh, this is another example of a spin-in. It's uh, walking on the moon surface, you have a reduced gravity, so you are very slow in the movement, and uh, try to using this uh, protein that is used, used by uh, Pistorius and uh, from disabled uh, athletes, could, uh, uh, and uh, this is matched with a gyroscope that you have on your back that keep you on, on the right side, could uh, able you to have big jumps and uh, increase your speedness on the ground surface. Obviously, obviously <coughs> they could seem crazy ideas, but they are the basis for uh, new developing of, of things. So. Uh, we force our students to be really visionary, to, to try to uh, have a really, um, how to say, unbelievable concepts. We used to say disruptive. Yeah, disruptive. Disruptive concepts. Disruptive is the real concept. Is the real words. Uh, how is our we work and here? And uh, the first year, you, the third project was interplanetary missions. That means that our concept uh, of how to go on, a, on the very uh, outer space, uh, like Mars, and come back. This is, uh, we, we, go, we went to Thales. Every year we went to Thales Alenia Space. Uh, I don't know if you know Thales Alenia Space is an Italian company hosted by our, it's a public company. Uh, it's a joint venture between us and France. And they are the uh, most important uh, builder for a uh, model, aluminum model. They build a big part of uh, ISS. Uh, they are really uh, an Italian excellence. Um, they support our course, so normally we go to their laboratory to see this is a Columbus module, you see the, the small, and uh, we were to see. Uh, this is, for example, another unbelievable concept that is a, a module for a, a, a Mars basis 
that is uh, uh, realized by uh, a mycelium. Mycelium. Mycelium is a mushroom, a small mushroom that uh, you could uh, uh, drop some bags on, on the mare surfaces and then uh, have an inflatable that uh, build the basis of this module. The inflatable is a double, double camera inside uh, where mycelium grow and then with a, a small command you uh, have a um, solidification by heat and it became like uh, um, concrete. So you can build this model and j jump together. These are uh, it's a space ships. Uh, here uh, we have a presentation of the work to the to the town, to Milano City, and in uh, Planetario. Uh, we uh, our course became uh, an exhibit that uh, it's required by in, in Europe. So this is, for example, for is a researcher not in Frascati, Darmstadt, uh, and uh, here the first here is the crew. And uh, the second edition, uh, we design uh, the gateway. The gateway is uh, in, the in the program of NASA is a, a small cislunar model that will we uh, rotate around the moon. And is a small, it's, it could uh, allow only four or six, I don't know, four. For astronauts, for small periods, and uh, they sh should be like a basis to uh, have a monitoring of the activity of the rover on the moon surface, because uh, uh, we imagine to, to send rover on moon surface for surface just in order to build the, to prepare the, the our environment. Uh, this is the second year, uh, so. Here is something that you know, some of you know. <laughs> uh, obviously, we work with uh, augmented reality, virtual reality, and uh, the technology. Dora, has, I, we have to run because we have many, uh, ma many things to show you. So, uh, we, we are available to explain some images uh, how the concept. Uh, this is an helmet for uh, relaxing and rowing. This is uh, a mobile configuration inside the module that could change. Uh, this is an uh, inflatable new uh, warehouse. Uh, well, this is, for example, probably uh, it will develop the, from Thales in, in, in the next module. Here we. Uh, Last year we had a presentation in uh, Thales, in Turin, in um, Altec, that is a Thale, uh, no, Altec. Altec, Altec that and is Thale. Uh, all the engineers of Thales appreciated a, a lot the projects, and now some concepts, uh, some idea could be uh, interesting uh, for the new uh, Chinese uh, space station. So, uh, that was just a uh, a, a very, very quick, uh, squeezed uh, overview of our work just in order to explain what, what we do normally, try to explain what we do. And, uh, because now we, we know that it's not easy to understand immediately. Now, because it is uh, the moon here, we are talking about the project about the moon. And um, um, uh, we, we have been invited by the Swiss Space Center. Uh, and Samantha Cristoforetti to join this new project. is a program that uh, is Navy Gruna, and uh, is an international project in which uh, ESA and the uh, Swiss Space Center uh, try to organize a new network and uh, create um, a habitat for the moon and a simulator in ice. Uh, the, the real goal is to uh, interconnect uh, different uh, uh, projects in reality, uh, the most important university from different teams uh, in, in a big uh, pro program. And uh, in order to check how to make it run. 
so the procedure and and the uh, and the settings of this uh, of this uh, network is the real project. Uh, at the end, uh, we participate with our group and uh, two thesis, two, 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 two girls from our course. And, um, and we participated in the habitat in uh, lunar lava tubes. Uh, and so the conception and structure are made uh, by, by us. And then uh, we can uh, see, of course, that uh, in a big project uh, we have uh, many many possibility to interact with the uh, life support system, uh, power management, communication and navigation, human well-being, but uh, more medical point of view and science. See, there were a lot of an experiment, uh, but we have the fortune you know, or the ability to envision the general basis. So exactly. we, 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 we thought about the general basis and the other project will be uh, fitted inside this. Uh, you know, being a designer, we have to connect uh, all uh, the other competences together. And so uh, we have to um, uh, manage a big uh, complexity during the projects. And uh, you have an idea of the milestones in the uh, time sheet, uh, the project uh, will take uh, just one year and uh, we started uh, in September now with the second edition and last June we had the field campaign in Zermatt uh, in the Paradise Glacier. So they recreate uh, a part of the uh, basis environment under a glacier. And it was really uh, interesting. It's, it was really uh, nice to participate as Polytechnico because uh, uh, most, the most important reality were involved. Uh, everyone g g gave uh, his contribu contribution. And at the end, also because they are Swiss, so they are really strictly and precise, everything was running perfect, perfect. perfectly. Absolutely we, perfect. We, we were it's like a puzzle that uh, joined and then uh, everything was super. And, uh, and, and we start with our project, Muni. And so uh, the objective is uh, to create uh, the lunar habitat, um, interacting with uh, the other team of uh, experts. Uh, try to create an hybridation between an inflatable and a rigid uh, structure, uh, try to uh, create a model with a minimal volume and uh, assuring uh, the best uh, uh, well-being, uh, the best uh, physiological condition uh, in long-term missions. Um, you have a list uh, of the main requirements of the projects regarding uh, the function uh, that uh, the lunar bases have uh, uh, to um, consider and the main constraint uh, due to the extreme environment of the moon. Um, this is uh, the uh, destination for the lunar bases that will be uh, in Shackleton. the south, uh, south pole. pole. Shackleton um, crater. Because we have the best uh, condition for life. So we decide to, uh, to put this basis into a lava tube. What is lava tube? It's a, it's a big hole in the ground, but very big. And uh, we found one, according with the, e e with the it was a, not only our works, it's according with the scientists, we decide to build this there. And so all the project was developed to be built under, under the moon surface because of uh, um, <coughs> storms, because of radiation, because of a lot of uh, things. Uh, <coughs> yeah, this is the timeline, the landing. And this is how <coughs> the schematic, how the that first options, uh, how to create uh, the lunar bases. The first one is uh, with an airbag 
and the second one uh, with the cableway system. And uh, then uh, to have an um, first some rover that prepare the ground and then the inflatable. And uh, the base is um, mainly it's an inflatable, but uh, uh, there is uh, also a problem about the security because you are under under the moon surface and probably there is some uh, you have not to risk not to risk to be squeezed. Yes. So we hope no. Yeah. And it's so very again, important to have a greenhouse. Yeah. Uh, yes, this is the risk that... Uh, the risk and... Uh, the timeline and our group yeah. of people. And um, uh, this is uh, uh, the final project that uh, could be more clear to explain you. Um, so Igluna um, contains uh, 19 teams, 9 countries. 13 university that you can see here. It's a very huge uh, program. And this is the roadmap uh, because experts come uh, visit uh, the different groups during the development of the projects and uh, the campaign uh, in the matter on Glacier. This is the uh, site of Zermatt and the location uh, for the exhibition because uh, they ask us to uh, design also the exhibition for all the groups and the interior of the glacier uh, to create uh, the, the habitation. Um, we use um, a Slack system to connect uh, all Every the, team. uh, the teams and um, we, we found this uh, system very, very useful and uh, very precise. Uh, yeah. Just uh, a short uh, uh, remembering why <laughs> we, we want to go to the moon uh, to uh, conduct research, uh, to uh, use uh, the moon uh, uh, to start uh, for the new uh, travel to Mars, and uh, to test the permanent uh, site. Uh, for other planets, uh, there are many interests uh, around. Um, you uh, this is the international have, uh, project. the future of the missions, uh, starting from now until 2040. Uh, we suppose now that uh, in 2000, uh, 2040 uh, we could have the first uh, lunar basis, but uh, uh, we know that uh, every year we, <laughs> we delay to uh, we ask more time. Uh, some consideration about uh, the uh, site that we have chosen and the cost, uh, because the costs uh, are very high. And we have to consider all these factors. So you've seen the temperature range is uh, from minus 200 to plus 100. Uh, 23. It's really a, a very huge range. Yeah, look at the difference of temperature on the moon surface and inside the lava tubes. That's one of the uh, main the main uh, topics. Minus because, 20s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, this is the dimension. It's uh, we can find also on Earth uh, the similar lava tubes, but they are very smaller. This is uh, the example of the lava tubes uh, uh, it's a very big in the lunar surface. Uh, Those are examples of the projects that are ongoing, like uh, Foster uh, for, for ESA, uh, Luna and Mars, and uh, the sort of really different examples. Uh, So the problem is uh, really the liberal space. In the 60s, it's really squeezed. They are really very, very, very in, in not a comfortable sitting. Uh, this is, those are, for example, 
uh, images from the 60s in missions. And, and the tra transportation, the big problem for the space is you have to launch. And the launch is really uh, expensive because it takes a lot of energy to uh, win the, the terrestrial gravity for every pound that you launch. And the cost of every kilo that you launch is really high. And in the moon, so you have the problem of safety. You have just told. Um, this is the structure uh, that was imagined. It, it's inflatable structure. And uh, with some internal walls uh, inflatable. And uh, all scientists ask us to, to put the greenhouse inside because uh, greenhouse uh, increase uh, the well-being, increase uh, the capacity to concentration of people. And uh, we manage uh, to uh, put uh, the greenhouse uh, in the center of uh, lunar habitats. And uh, this you is the um, yes, plant. And um, <coughs> we interact with uh, this shape which is an uh, Italian company, it really it's one of the most advanced in the world. They normally collaborate with normal foster for the, for the ease uh, basis. And they give us our, uh, their uh, know-how about 3D printing, like uh, something like a shell. Uh, and this is the D. And the idea is uh, to build uh, with the regulate uh, yeah. many uh, construction parts of the habitation, mixing with inflatable structures. Having the, they, they imagine, for example, for the uh, superficial basis uh, thought by Foster and Partners, uh, a 3D printing by Regolite that it's uh, about uh, 80 centimeter, one meters uh, thickness. It's very, very thick because they have to resist the radiation. Uh, Inside lava tube, as we are, we don't need this. Uh, our choice is uh, that we don't need this uh, thickness. And so uh, we imagine uh, like uh, a simply like a cage that uh, has only the function to resist uh, and to, to protect, the pressure, uh, to protect. To protect uh, for uh, a collapsing. Uh, yeah, if possibly. any collapse of the lava tube will act the shell will, will, will save inside. But uh, the real uh, structure of the, of the basis is inflatable. So this is the setup with the rover that goes. Inflating the module. And then to build uh, the cage. The cage and create also uh, the connection with the other Models that uh, could create uh, a colony. So the, the, this it, are other are part of projects like Greenhouse uh, and uh, GMR. Every team's uh, project uh, a, a part of this uh, structure, and uh, also the robotics part of the Zurich uh, for the for the building. Uh, and this is uh, the field campaign in Zermatt. This is the exhi exhibit. Uh, just what we imagine and render. Those are the two girls that um, uh, run this project with us. Um, this is the model, 3D printed model. And, uh, and the glacier yeah, well, campaign. <laughs> down <laughs> into the glacier, it's uh, 10 meters down. down the valley. And there is an environment with all some some part of the they recreate in the glass in the gla in glacier some parts of this environment just in order to have the experiment. For example, for the greenhouse, there was a robotic arm that uh, took the plants and, and was uh, tested there. Okay, we would like to finish uh, with a short Small video. video. Uh, that uh, resume uh, uh, all the projects.
ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡುವೆ Bene? Grazie. Grazie.